Hey everybody, this is not a spring chick, and the president's charm offensive is working. It's, oh wait a minute, the Republicans are caving in to him. Yes, higher taxes, no cut spending cuts. Oh, what else did you want, Mr. President? Oh yes, you are absolutely so charming. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. She did have a good... She drank the whole thing of water. And it's all over for the Republicans. Oh, yes, because you heard the charm of fancy the president is doing. The president is about to convince the Republicans in the House and the Senate to vote his way and join the Democratic Party because what they're doing is good for America. Because businesses are profiting so greatly they can easily afford it. Uh -oh. You know what Herbie Daddy just told me? He said those very same businesses are all con all connected to the President of the United States. And he, you know, government spending, General Electric, mm -hmm. green stuff. And who is putting tons of money into those businesses under his programs? Mm -hmm. So they said it's a, it's actually a phony thing. They said that a Republican that joins with the President is going to have his butt thrown out of Congress during the next, all, well, they got, they're holding special elections right now. There's the 47 people that gave Obama his nearly 40% tax increase on I mean, his tax bracket on the, on people making 250, which is every small businessman in the country. But that's not the, you know, according to Democrats, well, they should know better than to put their fam resources all together in a family. They, but small Democrats don't run businesses, folks, unless they're big business. And Stringer announces retirement from Sony. Yeah, and the stock market went up. His retirement means is that they 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 finally got him to quit. They didn't want to retire, but the problem he has the consumer electronics division, which is basically, as most people are saying, it's a joke because they got into tablets too late. They uh, they they got out of cell phones, which they had the market. Remember? They the, had the more. I mean. Yeah, but they refused to put a camera in it that worked. They decided to develop the little cameras, and now everybody is out doing them on the camera side. So. The, and they had all the tech. They have yeah, all the technology. They said it's not. They said Sony has the technology to be a great consumer electronics company. They just don't know what to do with it, which is why Springer is gone. <sighs> And Judge Cuts, Apple Award versus Samsung, <coughs> sets new damages trial. Yeah, that, yeah. Samsung basically is the world's largest corporation, and Apple basically is doing nothing right. They're, getting, they're preparing to make the announcement that, that they're going to have a, a wristwatch which is connected, which Bluetooth to your, uh, your iPad or your iPhone, and, uh, and you know, that's going to be their big deal, a wristwatch that, you know, who... Gives a rat's ass about this. I mean, you can okay. You take the i if 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 you take the iPhone out, and and you look at the iPhone. Why do you have to? You know, well, hello, this is Dick Tracy, and I'm talking to my iPhone. When you can just hold your iPhone. Mm -hmm. Yahoo to shut down seven products, including a BlackBerry app. Yeah, because uh, there, which is funny. This morning, uh, AT and T announced that they're basically coming out with the new Blackberries. Uh, sometime in the near future, at the moment that that uh, the companies that they need to work with are basically shutting the process down. I mean, if you can't get if you can't get a browser to get on the internet, your BlackBerry is totally useless. It actually is useless. And what was that new one that they're adding? Uh, no, the new BlackBerry that they're coming out with, with uh, uh, that they've been promoting, which actually won't be available in the United States until later this year. Has no has no means of getting onto the end of the okay Yahoo Google all of them and MSN does, they're all shutting it down so BlackBerry is about to become a totally useless piece of equipment and why would you want to buy it and Facebook to showcase new look for the news feed on March seventh oh yeah the day is March tenth I know it's just it. like they still haven't shown it yet mm -hmm. they well when it's going to be great they called this announcement the seventh. Well, it didn't happen the 8th, it didn't happen the day is the 11th. And oh, are you serious? Okay, uh, I'm going, why is this even in the news feed? That's why. Because it's called a farce, because they haven't done it yet. They called all these people into their place, and I'm assuming since we're not on that list, they told them, well, we're not quite ready today. Mostly because every, okay, the people that have seen it said it sucks. Mm -hmm. And when you're, every, all that is negative, they, they uh, Facebook basically can't keep having the negative uh, reviews on their product that they keep getting. So it's not, it's, it's got work that's got to be done on it. Would you pay to kiss Postal Mail goodbye? No, because Postal Service, okay, 
here is the thing is, the assumption is everybody has a computer. No, they don't. The assumption is you can get your, uh, your, um, your bills by email. No, you can't because, uh, some, uh, for instance, some of the major companies have shifted away from email delivery to putting it back in paper delivery because people are not necessarily getting there. If you don't look at your emails, you never get it. But if, they, if you get it in the mailbox, you tend to look at it. Mm -hmm. And Einhorn drops lawsuit versus Apple and ends challenge. Because it's not going to do any good to people at Apple are never the the money is tra is out of the United States and a, a legal action against a company whose money is out of the United States is worthless. And Jeb Bush, I don't have a problem with the pathway to citizenship. Well, uh, that, yeah, but the, the, but the problem is is that there is no real path to it because the Democrats. Uh, basically are not going to enforce the thing like they never do. It's basically giving people, okay, if you're Caucasian, you're an American Indian, you're an American Asian, you can't get, you can't get your tuition paid for by the state. But if you're an illegal alien from Mexico or Latin America, they'll pay for your education. That's totally wrong, which is why, you know, um, it's, it's not happening because there's too many people fighting and saying, well, my kid got 4.0 in college and he happens to be black. He can't get a free tuition. But this kid over here who came into this country illegally is going to get a free education? There's something wrong with that. And Chinese Premier Wen Jiabo bows off the public stage. Well, yeah, like he hasn't been on it for. I mean, okay, he's, a, he's old line Chinese. And basically, they basically kept him hidden for a say, decade. I was going to say he's so hidden. I'm going, who is he? <laughs> he's the premier. He's the prime. I think the head of the state in China, and no one sees him because they've got. I mean, well, like we saw, we saw a Chinese. Uh, we saw an officer the other day demonstrating a product, and he's trying to look like. He was oh one my of gosh! Us. Yeah, he was a little overactive. And you know what? I've seen him before too. Yeah, he and stands out like a sore thumb. Well, it's only because he's jumping up and down to music. But he looks like he's trying to have a really good time. He looks like a 60s revisited person. Yeah. Um, anguished Venezuelans mourn Chavez. Yeah, like the major personalities from Hollywood are going to his funeral because he was a great leader. Well, no, he was a socialist. He, he crushed everybody in front of him. The prisons are full of people that disagree with him, to, and he doesn't believe in democracy. Other than that... He's everything that the president absolutely loves in a, in a world leader. And Snowstorm heads for D.C. after slamming the Midwest. Oh, yeah, I saw it starting to hit, the, hit New York this morning. I mean, it's, uh, they're sitting there looking at the snow coming down outside of the, you know, of the, the, all the news, peop, all the news uh, organizations have these windows to the outside, and it basically looked like a blizzard is happening. Ooh, and much has changed since the last Dow record. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, like, okay, every day there's a brand new record because the economy is booming and it's unbelievable booming. Uh, the little investor is not putting a penny in it. If the little investor is investing in gold and other things, uh, there's a problem with that boom of, wall, of uh, the Dow, folks. It's a phony one. TSA to allow small knives, bats, clubs on planes. They're trying to figure out the logic behind that one. The, like they said that they're... Uh, anything that you can use to kill somebody with. Uh, but then I saw, here's an example though, he said, okay, here it is, they've always allowed you little tiny glass bottles to drink alcohol is. He said, have you ever broken the end off of a glass bottle and see what you can do with one of those? Mm -hmm. I saw that done this morning. And woman denied CPR, requested no intervention. I know, just let a person die and they said, well, that is the future of people what? my age in this country, is that it's a drain on the services to save the life of an old person. She was he, denied CPR? Yeah, because she was old. Not, if it had been a younger what? person... No, this is Obamacare on your way. They're not even, as far as I know, they're not doing anything because she was just following the rules. If you don't, if you're old, you're, and have a, a problem, like this morning they're talking about senior citizens have a tendency to get sick. Oh, love it. Here's a senior citizen. You, he says, you know, senior citizens tend to get sick more often than young people, and therefore they're a burden on the system. Isn't that great? You know what they're going to do? They're basically, remember, we have a death, uh, you have a death council you have to go to when you're a senior citizen. I'm not going to it. They can't force me, so I can't, they can't force me to take Medicare or Medicaid either, so.
don't get oh. older. Do not get I, older. I, 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 I'm not. I, I've never heard. Of, it's like if somebody needs CPR, you just give them CPR. Not anymore. I mean, that is atrocious. Not under the uh, not under the world of Obama, because senior citizens are useless drains on society. Oh they God. supported Obama, remember, folks? Oh, and a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, uh, okay. Eventually, people my age reach the point that they actually truly become dinosaurs. <laughs>